Hello again metalheads. I'm on my second week off from work. I've got a little bit of this scruffy weed infested field to finish and then I'm taking you through here look, in through this gateway here. And then we're starting on this lovely medieval ridge and furrow pasture field. That'll do us good won't it? Let's see what comes up. Oh yes metalheads, here we go again, another crotal bell, this time it's seeming complete, the suspension loop's knackered off the top of it, but there's a chance that's going to be a dinger. Right, I'm going to try and field clean this out for you, and see if we can hear the sound of history. Back shortly. So after about five minutes with a little pokey thing, I've cleared the soil out of this bell. It's very faint but the dinger's in there. Oh, I love finding these little bells, they are so cool. That's now the fifth I've had off this and the other field. Three of them complete dingers and two of them with dirty great lumps whacked out of them. Yeah. What a first find of the day. I'm happy. Got a broken piece here. Looking at it in profile, it looks curved. Might have been part of a pot or a bowl. And if you look very carefully, you see a cross and four pellets on there, a bit of old junk but it might have been a historic pot at one point in time. Got a huge great lump of bronze here, really quite weighty, it's got some line scored around it, honestly don't know what it is, could it have been a plum bob maybe? is out on that one I'm afraid metal leads. Now that's a cool little lead find. It's a hem weight. Now these were stitched into clothing to weight them down, stop them blowing them down in the breeze. I'm doing a couple of them myself on a day like today it's blowing a right hooli. And we're on it again metal leads. look at this. Another leather mount. Are you ready for this? Let's turn it over. Wow, that's a medieval coat of arms that is. What a cracking find there, it's just pulled itself into focus. Don't know whether I could try to clean that at home or whether it's going to mess it up. Maybe just leave it as it is, eh? That's got to be a good six, maybe eight hundred years old. How cool. A couple of other really cool things here, metalheads. First off, our friend George, Suffolk searcher, has sent me a spray squirty bottle because my old one went a knacker. So, thank you very much, George. Most appreciated, mate. A cool addition to the kit. And then, a little coin. That is a contemporary forgery. That's a George the Third 
sixpence, but it's made of copper alloy and then would have been silver plated. It's in rather poor condition, but it's a bit of social history, isn't it, these contemporary forgeries? Cool. Another coin, George the Third half penny this time. It's a little pea head version facing to the right. Very gunked up, but it might clean up with the pink stuff. Reverse is slightly better. Britannia's on there. Make her right. Cool. And another little coin, barely readable this time, but just enough there to see the monarch facing to the right, so George the Third. Slightly better on the reverse. I can make out Britannia on there just about. Little farthing. Late 1700s. And yet another coin. This time it's completely destroyed. Not going to get anything off that at all. Just going on the size, colour. It's Georgian, George II, George the Third. 1700s again. Don't know if I'm clutching at straws with this one, but might have a little weight here. From a balance scale. Might be an ounce maybe, half ounce. Who knows? Okay, metalheads, I've changed field on this lovely bit of well eaten down ridge and furrow pasta. Pasta? Fuck off! Useless just about sums you up. <laughs> okay, metalheads, I've now changed fields. Pretty much exhausted that scruffy field. I'm on this well munched down pasture field. At a signal, they're very few and far between. But look, there's my pointer. That's right in the ground, nine inches deep. But we're heading down there for. Look at that. Stonking great big medieval spectacle buckle. Excellent. This feels going to be hard work. But if there's stuff like this in it, I'm carrying on. Another little copper coin, size of a farthing, but absolutely obliterated. Nothing at all on that. It's not working out so well over here. Oh yes, ding dong, he's only gone and pulled another one out of the ground. Complete one this time. Looks in good order, suspension loops on the top of it. That needs a clean out to see if it's got a dinger in it. I'll be back with you later. Here we are, back home again, round up time. As always, we'll start from the rubbish at the top. Standard buttons, half of a bullock's nose ring, bit of a draw pull, horse's bridle ring. Yeah, another one of these thumping great big lead bullets. Little weight. Quite a cool lead item, the little hem weight. One, two, three, four, five. Completely toasted out coins. Then down to the good stuff. Rather huge. Medieval spectacle buckle. Little teeny weeny crotal bell, but uh, dinger still in there. Uh, look at the size of this beauty, eh? That is absolutely massive. I've got a feeling that there's quite some age to this because of the design of the suspension hoop on the top of it. That looks like it's hand carved rather than 
machine pressed, some patination on it, big ding dong in that. What I've done with the two of these is I've just washed them and then give them a polish over with preserving wax. Really does bring out the depth of that patina. And then this little teeny tiny beauty. Look at that. Medieval her heraldry. Try it again. Heraldry. Little horse harness pendant done as a stud little shank on the back of it it's got to be six to eight hundred years of history there really cool find that one so I'm enjoying my time off from work and hopefully I'll get another video out of my second week of holiday catch you soon metalheads bye bye